Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life Apollo, some of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here. Oh, we've had a fantastic weekend so far, guys. Took yesterday off, I think like the first time in like maybe like 11 or 12 days. I kind of lost track a little bit. But as always, guys, when we take a break from automotive supercar community news, a lot of stuff seems to happen. So we have a ton of stuff to go over today. I want to thank you guys for taking just a couple minutes out of your day to spend here with me. It means a lot. And with that, Beard Nation, let's go. All right, first up, guys, let's talk about two major things that happened in the automotive and supercar community over the last 24 hours uh, that were really big deals for the channels involved. For one, guys, Daily Driven Exotics finally revealed one of their major project cars they've been working on for some time now. The video entitled, Introducing My New Lamborghini Huracan Evo Aperta 840 Horsepower Supercharged V10. Now, I'll be honest, guys, when I first saw the work in progress, uh, I really didn't understand the initial initial vision, uh, but as I saw more and more of the vehicle, especially after the supercharging, after sort of the new wrap they put on it, I started to understand why they like this build so much. And apparently I wasn't the only one that thought it was an interesting build. Uh, this particular video from Daily Driven Exotics actually making the rounds on a bunch of different automotive publications. I gotta hand it to Daily Driven Exotics, guys. I would not have the nerve to do something like this to any of my own cars. And I feel like a lot of other people definitely wouldn't either, but let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think of their new uh, Huracan Evo Aperita? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you think it means a new direction for their channel? I'll put it in the comments below. I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Next up, guys, got to talk about Stradman's latest video uploaded like five or six hours ago. Uh, him having his Nissan GTR race a helicopter out on the dry lake bed. One of the more entertaining videos that I've ever seen on the Stradman channel. Uh, the, the sheer number of cameras and camera angles and planes in the air uh, was actually pretty insane. The video was met with near universal acclaim from his millions of fans and automotive of YouTube. Additionally, guys, I have a feeling that this sort of video, this high energy, high impact, sort of uh, epic looking shot video is going to mean a new direction for the Stradman channel moving forward. If by some chance you haven't already seen Stradman's video, I would highly implore you to do so. It is just a ton of fun. There's no other way to describe it. Go check it out, guys. You'll really like this one. Next up, guys, we had a pretty funny story concerning Dave from Daily Driven Exotics that we had to bring to your attention because I just couldn't stop laughing at it. Dave took to his Instagram account to post a picture and this particular caption below saying, this was my at the JDM space circa 2001 to 2004. The Type R was my dream for years. I worked at Pizza Hut in the background and someone gave me a loan for 26K to buy this 01. Uh, prior to this was a bunch of DAs with Al Altezas and big wings. The last pick was when I was 14. Laugh all you want, your high school girlfriends were all about it and it got even better from there, one of the major comments below and one of his responses to it. One particular commenter saying, JDM space, question mark, and these guys can't see their R34 is almost overheating. Dave immediately jumping into the fray to say, defective gauge, my first move as the number one JDM ambassador is to make JDM fans less sensitive. Obviously guys, it's sort of a joking reference to some of the stuff that we covered in our last episode sort of semi-contentious as that was. We've talked about this for a number of months now, maybe even longer. Uh, different sections of the automotive community tend to get very heated uh, when certain things are brought up. Dave sort of self-describing himself as the number one JD ambassador on YouTube. I can only imagine the comments he's going to eventually get. Uh, I can't help but laugh a little bit. What can I say? My advice, guys, uh, I think we could all benefit from uh, taking a step back and being a little bit more relaxed about how we talk about different cars. Next up, guys, I sort of got called out from a very prominent automotive, we'll call him an automotive YouTuber, uh, in an Instagram post earlier today. Whistle and Diesel taking to Instagram to sort of formally announce that he now has more Instagram followers than Stradman, and sort of specifically saying that he assumed I would eventually be doing a story on this, sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy now. I will say I was a little bit surprised to see him commenting about me and actually defending me and sort of the news program that we do uh, to some of his followers.
Wars. Him saying that he thinks I do a pretty good job of reporting the news and he doesn't have a problem with me whatsoever, which is good to know. We really do try to be extraordinarily inclusive when it comes to different sections of automotive YouTube, although that can be kind of tricky sometimes because the mass majority of the people that follow our channel here are also huge fans of Daily Driven Exotic, Stradman, Amelia Hartford, just to name a few. So when we do report uh, about Whistle and Diesel, and you know, he's obviously had a little bit of run-ins with Stradman over the past couple months, some of the fan base can get kind of irked about those particular mentions. And sort of uh, on a side topic here about Whistle and Diesel, guys, uh, a lot of crazy stuff has happened with his channel over the past week or so, uh, talking about being you know, strictly shadow banned on Instagram now, uh, giving even more credence to sort of the thing that we talked about like a week and a half ago. Additionally, uh, in that post where he mentioned me, he also said he was probably going to end the whole Stradman thing going forward. At least that's what I took it as. Anyway, uh, it's always a little bit strange for me to get mentioned by really large channels with millions of subscribers. Uh, you know, we're under 250,000 subscribers. I really don't feel like that's a crazy large number by comparison. So whenever we do get mentioned, it always feels a little bit strange and that's half the reason why I talk about it at all. Anyway, let me know what you guys think into our next story. Next up guys, TJ Hunt saying goodbye to the Lamborghini Aventador, but promises a brand new supercar coming soon. The Aventador going to Alex from Sheepy Race. Uh, apparently has some big plans for it. Uh, very excited guys. It's been great seeing those two creators collab a lot. Big fan of TJ Hunt, big fan of Alex from Sheepy Race. If you're not following them, make sure to go check out their channels, guys. Aventador is still the ultimate flex car on automotive YouTube. Sad to see it leave TJ's channel, but happy to see it go to another awesome automotive channel. Check them out. If you want a taste of extreme luxury, go check out Savage Garage's latest video entitled My $9 million Porsche Design Tower Condo gets a major upgrade. Randy, living the sweet life, so to speak, obviously has one of the crazier hypercar and supercar collections, uh, really displayed anywhere in automotive YouTube, continuing to add to his crazy hypercar fleet, it seems like every other month, now showing us a little bit of uh, how he lives, so to speak. Go check it out, guys. I think you'll really enjoy that video. Just a, a different look at sort of big automotive YouTubers and how they live. Next up, guys, we are blessed with a, a beautiful video from Shmi, another great drag race and sort of comparison video. This one entitled Porsche Take on Turbo S versus Tesla Model S Performance Cheetah. I'm loving these videos from Shmi, guys. Uh, I love the Senna Porsche video he did just a little while ago. Uh, now he's sort of continuing in that trend. Uh, make sure to go check it out, guys. Shmi does a fantastic job of bringing these drag races to life with uh, expert encyclopedic knowledge. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Link in our description below. The next up, guys, Straight Pipes have a fantastic review on a, a semi-forgotten Mercedes, this one entitled Super Fun 2020 Mercedes AMG CLA 45 Review. That is an absolute mouthful. But anyway, fantastic review. Uh, their music choices and their videos have been really phenomenal as of late. Uh, they are one of my favorite automotive channels. I tend not to miss a video of theirs, so make sure to go check it out. You will love this video, even if you don't love the car. Next up, guys, gotta mention Washness Media, guys. Just uh, an incredibly epic video. This one called Night in Seattle, 90s Toyota Legends in 4K. Good Lord, guys. I've, I've said it a million times before. Washness Media, one of the most talented uh, cinematographers in the automotive game. You will feel something by watching his video. Go check it out, guys. You are just gonna lose it over this one. And our last two guys, uh, Bladed Angel. Yes, I'm a new subscriber to Bladed Angel's content, but I'm loving everything he's serving up so far. His latest video, five things rich and broke car owners relate to. Uh, he started off with brakes and being squeaky, and I immediately knew where he was going, which is why I love the video. Uh, go check it out, guys. Bladed Angel, definitely add him to your subscription list, you won't be sorry. And last but certainly not least guys, Rob Dom uh, with a video that you guys are all gonna be super pumped for. The all-wheel drive four rotor is ready to race the Hoonicorn, I think. Uh, we've been excited for this for a long time, guys. Uh, one of the coolest things that Rob has ever done on his channel. Do not miss this video. Do not miss the actual race coming extraordinarily soon. Go check it out, guys. Uh, Rob has one of the craziest car builds anywhere in automotive YouTube. Just go watch the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Sort of a weird hodgepodge day of news, but we try to bring you whatever's happening regardless of how weird it can sometimes be. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. We certainly are. We'll be back tomorrow evening with something else crazy going on, I'm sure. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. I'm out.